Holtam in car number 53 as he fights the steering wheel through that bank left hander at turn number two. Holtam now on the short shoot heading into the top of the S's up to the outside the quicker class one car of Ian Goggins. Oh Goggins sideways right in front of Holtam you know that's one of the things that concerns the drivers here at Shannonville. Well, yeah you're always conscious of uh, everyone on the racetrack including the fast cars and they come up on you pretty quick. So uh, you're always looking in the mirror, I'd say about 25% of the time. The 0-2 car of David Lacey continues to hold on to that third place position. Lacey in the Porsche 968 carrying the Tim Horton sponsorship into the hairpin now, hard braking. Down a gear and now out onto the back straightaway. There's the fourth place driver, Ian Goggin in the 0-6 Porsche. He has had a good steady run here at Shannonville as he works out onto the back straight away. Now in that 75, MTN Bearings Camaro is Doug Beatty Jr. having taken over from Lee Bentham. This car ran up as high as third. And now we go on board the 05 car with Norman Hing. And Hing will be handing this car over to Stu Valentine for the run home to the checkered flag out onto the back straightaway. Hink trying to close it up on the car ahead of him on the racetrack. I believe they have now taken over the 10th place position after running outside of the top 10. They have picked up a couple of positions here in the last little while, and now that Porsche, the 05 Porsche, up into the 10th place position. Ludwig Heimrath, the race leader, lapping more cars as he runs it off the end of the back straightaway into turn six, going around the 22 car of Derek Monick as Heimrath continues to run well out in front. Now we go on board with the 53 car of Jim Holtam. They continue to run in the third place position in class three. Holtam getting it up on the speed curving as he runs it through the chicane. Now hard braking down shifting for that little left hander there at Allen's corner. And now into that sweeping right hander that brings the field onto the start finish straightaway here at Shannonville. Normally this is also the pit straightaway. But for the Touring Car Championship, the pits are actually located on the back straightaway into turn one. Holtam trying to move his way through on the inside. He gets blocked there by the number 58 car. And now through that left-hander at turn number two. And this is one of the problems when you run three classes together on the racetrack. Holtam finally able to get around as they run it into the top of the S's. But they've had just a very, very solid run here through the first half of the event. Jim Holton, of course, will be handing it over to his co-driver, Mike Kuznicki. Here's Holton down, shifting on the brakes through the hairpin. We'll be back at Shannon. Very, very technical one. We're looking at a 10-corner configuration on the Pro Track. Here we're watching the BMW 325 coming into the hairpin. A little bit earlier today, we spoke with Jim Kelly about the particular problems of this racetrack. Well, the difference between uh, Shannonville and Mossport, uh, I find at Mossport you can make a little bit of a mistake because of the speed you carry, and you're not going it's not going to show up on your time. Shannonville, you have to be right on the money. It's a very technical track. Uh, it's hard on brakes. It's hard on steering. Uh, hard on the front tires on this front-wheel drive Nissan. Uh, the best we can do is uh, we have to save everything till the end. Uh, it's heat, a lot of heat, and a lot of problems uh, are caused through the from the heat from this track because it's uh, get up and go and slam on the brakes and off you go again. The race leader, Ludwig Heimrath, coming into Allen's corner, takes a look on the inside of that 98 car of Earl Gallegos, will put the Strudwick Camaro a lap further down, as Heimrath has just blistered the field here at Shannonville. He has lapped the entire field, and now we go on board with the third-place Class C car, as Jim Holton continues to run up in the third-place position aboard the Volkswagen Corrado. And he has had a nice run in this car. He stays out on the racetrack. Of course, we'll be handing it over to Mike Kuznicki as he now downshifts on the brakes into that little left-hander there at Allen's corner. And now through this big sweeping right-hander that brings the drivers out onto the start-finish straightaway here at Shannonville. Now up through the gearbox, up across the start-finish line, setting the car up. Uh, for the run down to the inside of the racetrack in turn number one, staying tucked in here as far as he could go. And then setting it up for the run into turn number three. A little bit further back, the 17 car of Ron Green coming on the front straightaway. They continue to lead here in class three. But again, we're seeing some of the battles here on the racetrack involving cars in two and three different classes. And there is quite a speed differential 
among the various classes here on the racetrack. Oh, problems with the 0-2 car of David Lacey. He got it out onto the grass there for a moment, did a nice job of gathering things back up. He'll lose a couple of positions on the racetrack as Gord Cullen goes around on the outside into the top of the S's. But again, we're getting a lot of passing and lapping taking place throughout the field as Lacey brings it into the hairpin, still running in third. We've seen a lot of problems in the combination 1-2 this afternoon, and here's a look at what just happened. David Lacey probably turning in a little bit too soon for turn two, runs out of road and is out in the field. It's a very, very rough area there at Shannonville and a potential for damaging the suspension big time. Well, full marks to David Lacey for getting that car back under control and on the racetrack as we look at some other great racing here in the uh, top 15 or so. That's the 58 car of Barry Gingrich just ahead of Earl Gallegos. And now we look back at the leader, Ludwig Heimrath, who has lapped the 08 KFC Tim Hortons Porsche of Rick Vai as both of these drivers stay out on the racetrack well past the halfway point. Ludwig Heimrath, your leader, Rick Vai running in the second place spot. One of our leading cars in Class 3 currently showing uh, second in the class. Scott Primo, and no problems now in the pit. Fire coming from the front brakes on that number 22. Derek Monick and Dermot Phillips Nissan. They're trying to get a wrench to get off that tire to get at the brakes as they have really been putting the demands on the braking system in that Nissan and uh, running into problems here past the halfway point in the event. The crew going to work trying to solve the problem. You can see just how much they have overworked the brakes. We've got a pit stop coming up here for the 0-2 car. David Lacey into the pits. This will be a tire change, refueling, and a driver change as Sheldon Smith will be getting into that 0-2 Tim Hortons Porsche. And now this is the situation here where Lacey is out of the car. Smith getting in, he'll get assisted with getting on the five-point safety harness from David Lacey, having a little bit of a problem with one of the belts there. The crew still refueling the car. They've got the fire extinguisher at the ready just in case there's any kind of a problem with the refueling procedure. And again, it looks like they're going to change some rubber on this car. They've been running up in the third-place position throughout. It'll be interesting to see if they can hold that spot here on the racetrack. Sheldon Smith behind the wheels as he'll roll off a pit road. And a pretty good stop here for the uh, team of David Lacey and Sheldon Smith. More activity on pit road now as the 37 car rolls into position. This is your class two leaders, Gord Cullen, with a tremendous drive here through the first half of the event. We'll hand it over to Nigel Gleason, who's got into the car. The crew, again, will go to work. It'll be tires all around, at least the front tires on the car. There's Gleason. And again, it looks like he's having a bit of a problem with one of the belts. And the refueling continues as well. It looks like they've just about got the new rubber on the car. Gleason's still fighting with the belts to uh, get them all snugged up. And Gord Cullen standing by there. they have got a bit of a problem, I think, there with the refueling on that number 37, Volkswagen Corrado. And again, Gleason having problems with the belt. So this pit stop not going as well as planned. And it looks as though they've got a kink in the fuel hose. There it is. And a problem there. You can see the fuel is just not getting into the tank. Now they try to correct the uh, kink hose problem. And they're going to try to get as much fuel in as they can. It looks like Gleason is ready to go, but they have not refueled completely. There's uh, Gunnar Schmidt uh, standing by trying to uh, give the crew some encouragement. And finally, it looks they'll be able to get the uh, fuel into the tank. But again, problems here with the stop for the number 37, Volkswagen Corrado. They had a pretty good lead in class two. Finally, the refueling is completed. They'll get back out on the racetrack, but that's gonna cost them an awful lot of time uh, with an extended fuel stop for the class two leaders, Gord Cullen, with Nigel Gleason now at the controls as the 0-2 car, Sheldon Smith, in a turn one. Ian Goggin running the entire event in the 0-6 car. And now that 37 Volkswagen Corrado back out onto the racetrack. The leader up across the start-finish line. And Larry Caruso presently driving the number one car. 
filling in for Ludwig Heimrad. He is on fresh rubber, and Pat is with Ludwig. Ludwig, outstanding drive there in uh, the first hour and 45 minutes. Did you plan to go that long in the car? Uh, yes, I wanted to go a little longer, but we ran out of gas, so I had to come in uh, for the pit stop with the driver change. And uh, But we're still a lap ahead, so... Uh, uh, we're really not worried about it right now. If, even if we have to make, make another pit stop for some fueling, you know, or say a couple, couple of gallons of fuel, I think we're okay. Car number 75, Doug Beatty Jr. will make the pass up across the start-finish line as he runs it into turn number one. Beatty currently running in the seventh-place position in the Camaro, and there is the battle for the lead now. Rick by in that 08 KFC. Tim Horton's Porsche sliding it out of the pit straightaway. Here's Larry Caruso going for the lead, and he'll get it as they go into turn number one. Side by side, the two Porsche 968s battling out of turn number one. Rick by back on the inside will retake the lead. Remember, Rick by has not pitted. Big slide in that Porsche of Rick by Remember, he has stayed out here since the drop of the green flag. He's on worn tires. Larry Caruso has refueled. He's on fresh rubber, and now he's really putting the charge on Rick By in the 08 Porsche. By is all over the racetrack, trying to hang on to the lead, but just barely as they go out onto the back straightaway. Larry Caruso taking a run back up on the 08 Porsche as they head down the back straightaway. Remember, Rick By has yet to pit. And he will lose the lead anyways once he comes out of pit road. But here's Caruso. He's going to try to pass him before By goes on in the pit road. And Caruso has taken the lead at the end of the back straightaway. Larry Caruso turning in a great drive as some of the final pit stops coming up. Big spin with the Earl Gallegos Strudwick Camaro sliding right off the racetrack. He'll get it turned around and continue. But another miscue here. For that number 98 Camaro, as he'll back it up now, looking for an opening here in the traffic to get back onto the racetrack. They had been running up in the top 10 earlier, but now are running outside of the top 10. Up across start finish, there is Nigel Gleason signaling to Doug Beatty Jr. that he can make the pass on the inside, going into turn one, as Doug Beatty Jr. does. And they appear to have uh, worked on this 